Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day. So, my name is Arjun Awawi from UTHM. And today is a good day because I want to show you, okay, we will learn how to do sketching on, on shape. Okay, sketch is very important because when we are try to make any 3D or three-dimensional uh, object or drawings, okay, so we need to first begin with the sketch. We need that uh, 2D, then we're going to develop to 3D, okay. Uh, if you want to make a cylinder, first you're going to start with a circle, something like that. Okay. So, let's do it. Okay. I don't want, I don't like to wait. Okay. So, I assume that you already have your own shape account and let's start. Okay. Let's start. Okay. So, this is my own shape. Okay. And because I already make some drawing, so it is quite a lot. So, maybe yours maybe is going to be very, uh, it's going to be plain. Okay. And we, you're gonna see more drawings later, okay? Okay, so the first thing is you can go up here to create. Here, create, okay? Okay, meaning that we want to create something. Okay, we can create document, folder, label, or import file, okay? So create. If you want to make a file in documents, okay, just, if you want to make a drawing, just go to documents. Document to make a drawing. But if you want to make a couple of drawings uh, that you want to assemble later, you can go to folder and make a, a drawings in that folder, just like Google Drive. Or maybe you can import files from SolidWorks. Okay, you can import file from from other other system. Okay, you can do it. Okay, you can import from and all those things. Okay, so okay, imagine that I want to make a drawing. Okay, so I just go to document. Okay, and I'm gonna give my my drawing names maybe uh, sketch, sketch one. Uh, learn sketch okay learn sketch okay, give it a name okay any names that you like okay give it a name like that okay and then you can go to create public document okay <laughs> so it is public so everybody can see your drawings okay so if you want to make it private you need to pay to, to the company so yeah because now we are on the on the face of learning so just use the, the free documents okay the, the free free on shape sorry okay so create public document you need to wait okay you need to wait okay so because previously I, I, I'm the I'm the user of SolidWorks so I, it is quite the same because in SolidWorks you can see that uh, the menu okay up here the menu and this is the something like a history so anything that you did will be will be jotted down here it will be recorded uh, maybe you're gonna do sketch and then you're gonna do chamfer and all those things it will be recorded here okay and then these are the the three main uh, three main plane okay we got the front we got the right and top okay <coughs> sorry okay so the first thing to do a sketch you need to identify the plane okay maybe you want to use the front or right or top okay okay how about we we make a, a cylinder and use the top to make the sketch okay so okay go to okay you need to click on the top and you can okay, go to the top okay and you can see that the the edge of the of the plane is turning into into orange so mean that you are you gonna choose it okay and then you need to click on that one okay so it will it will turn into orange okay orange color so mean that the the top plane is selected by you and you want to make something or you want to draw something on the plane okay so okay okay to to make a a, a sketch first you need to make sure that the plane is is normal to your face okay okay meaning that you can you cannot draw when when the plane is like this you need to make sure that the plane is like this okay normal to to your screen or to your face okay like this ah uh, yeah like that okay so it is quite quite hard if you want to do it manually so what you need to do is you just you just need to go to any place and then you need to <coughs> right click right click and then you're gonna get a menu like this New sketch, offset, all those things. So you need just need to choose the the the, the bottom most, okay, and the view normal to, okay, choose that one. So okay, see, uh, the the on shape will set the the surface normal to your face, okay, okay. So to draw a, a cylinder, first you need to 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 make a sketch, okay. You need to make to you need to draw a circle and 
you need to uh, expand it into a cylinder so the first thing you need to go to up here as the, the sketch sketch icon here okay because meaning that we want to start to sketch okay so go to the sketch and then you need to wait okay you can see that the icon is changing to the sketch icon okay not like the the previous icon the previous icon is the okay when we go out to the sketch okay you can see that okay this one is the icon okay here up here is the icon for the 3d 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 operation Meaning that one minute you want to extrude or you may want to make a hole you may to make a some 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 shape so it is a 3d 3d features okay these are for the 3d operation so when you go to sketch okay okay wait uh, first you need to select the yeah select the plane and everywhere when you, when you go you click on sketch you can see that the icon is changing to the sketch okay sketch icon okay so like i said before to make a cylinder first you need to take a circle so just click just choose the circle here okay choose the circle and click on that one and then put the circle in the center of the plane here like this okay, center of the plane like this okay so click on that one and drag the edge of the circle to make it bigger and just put and no need to worry about dimension okay we, we will set the dimension later okay this is the good features of the of the of the on shape you can just like solid works okay we can set the dimension later the radius later so click any anywhere that you want okay so to to set the dimension of the radius of the circle you just go up here okay it is an icon named dimension okay click on that one and then click on the edge of the circle like this okay make sure it touch the circle and the circle turn to you to orange okay like that and drag it out okay drag it away so like this okay this is the the dimension inches 4.2 how about we change to 4 inches okay just type 4 and then click enter okay wait you can see okay okay 4 okay okay sketch okay so then you click yes meaning the sketch okay you you want to finish with the sketch okay so okay another thing is in malaysia we are not using the inches okay we're using the we're not using the british unit we use the the matrix unit so you we, we need to change that okay so to take to so to change the units you need to go to here up here uh document menu up here okay document menu okay and then you go to workspace units uh, down here workspace units okay click on that one and then okay you can see that you need this inches length display okay we okay first we need to change the inches to mm millimeter uh, the rest is, is is all right and then we need to change the mass to from pound to kilogram okay so inches to millimeter okay okay inches you can see that okay the the default is inches so change to millimeter okay and then the pound pound change to kilogram okay easy pound to kilogram and then you go to the green okay the green tick button here click on that one so it is changed so we're gonna go back to our circle okay we try to click okay we can click on this thing like that okay that okay that is one way to modify the the circle or you can click uh, okay click okay or the other way is you can go to sketch here okay go to the sketch okay we need to, like i said before this is the history sketch sketch one this is sketch one sketch one you right click and then you go to edit uh, this is harder edit meaning that we, you want to edit the sketch okay so edit and then yeah you come up so it, it is 101 millimeter so try to change it maybe about uh, 80 mm like that okay so finish okay finish okay next we want to turn the circle okay into into a cylinder okay so before that i need to teach you how to play with the mouse button for for on shape because playing with the mouse button i mean the left left click right click and the the, the roller is quite important when you're doing a, a technical drawing so uh, to zoom in and zoom out you need to play with the roller okay uh, push the roller forward to make zoom in 
Okay, roller forward, zoom in. And roller backward is zoom out. Okay, try that. Uh, on your mouse. Okay, you need to use a mouse. Okay, please, please make sure you use a mouse. Okay. Okay, zoom in is roller. You go to the in and then out. Okay, the one who is using a roller. Okay, so to make the things rotate, you need to hold on your mouse. Okay, hold the right button. And then try to move the mouse. Okay, hold. Do not release the the the, the right button. Okay, like that. Okay, okay. Do not release it. Okay, so that's how you make it rotate. Okay, rotate. Okay, let's rotate. And because when you are drawings three D three D three D object, so rotation is very important. That is rotate. Okay, and then if you want to make the things moving like this, you just need to hold your the roller on your mouse, and then you need to just to move the mouse. Easy. Okay. Easy. Okay, and then maybe you want to go back to the to the to the default view, so you just need to go here. Okay, here, here, down here, and then just click isometry. Get a bad, okay. Okay, and maybe you you okay. Imagine that you are using zoom, uh, zoom out, and then uh, voila, uh, maybe the thing is is gone, uh, okay, because you are you zoom out too much, okay. So the thing is gone. So you are not you are panic. So please don't be panic. Be be calm and just press the F button on your computer. Voila, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. So that's how. Okay, so to turn the to turn the the circle. Okay, so we're gonna make a cylinder now. So to turn the circle into a cylinder. Okay, okay, because the sketch one is is highlighting into bold, meaning that the sketch one is active. Okay, so you just need to go up here to the extrude. Uh, not just extrude. If you if you click here, meaning that uh, we want to change from the two D or sketch mode into three D mode. Okay, so try to click this one. Okay, so you can see that the menu is changing. So now we are in three D more. Okay, okay. Now we are okay. Extrude, extrude is for making the the circle and expand it into a cylinder. So this is extrude. Okay, so you can you can try to adjust. You can play with the the the, the arrow here, or you are you can adjust the the heights of the cylinder. Maybe about fifty. You can type here. Okay, and you can click yes. Okay, so that's how. Okay, and about saving, about to save. Okay, to save the the drawing, you don't need to worry because it is auto save just like Google Drive. Okay, Google Drive. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to sketch. Okay, okay. So we finish with this one. Okay, so I think we we will not learn how to. Okay, now we are not learning. Learn to use the 3D. We just want to use 2D, so we need to delete the 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 cylinder. We just leave it with the circle. Okay. So to delete the cylinder, so you need to click on the on the history about the cylinder here. Okay. Click on that one and then right click and then you go to delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. So now we are we only want to learn sketch. Sketch meaning that you only want to do the 3D. Okay. So click on the sketch. Okay. And then uh, right click, and then you go to view normal to sketch plane like that. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm gonna end the session now because I don't want to make the session too long. Okay. You might get bored, and and I will continue. To do the to use all the sketch item sketch item up here in the next video. Okay, thank you for now. Thank you. Bye bye.